Wow what in the world was that about? Oh my god you guys I just woke up from the weirdest dream in like ever. This is literally insane I dreamed about having a girlfriend and all of that stuff and we went out and stuff but I do not even have a girlfriend so I have no idea what all of that was about. Man that was really freaking weird you guys. I wish that I could explain how I am feeling right now but it is just the most weird feeling that I have ever had. It is like I do want a girlfriend but I am not sure why I dreamed about it and who might this be on the phone. Wait you are my girlfriend. Wow that is really weird since I do not recall actually having a girlfriend. Well could you maybe drop by today maybe we can hang out and stuff and do some dating or something like that. You know if you are into those things. Oh right there she is already man she is crazy fast but what in the world is she wearing? Alright you know that we do not care about that I mean we cannot all have the fashion sense of Kanye West I guess. But hey how are you today? Oh right I totally forgot my name is Sub-Zero X to bite and this is my girlfriend apparently. Yeah I am sorry I am a video blogger kind of guy so if you do not mind it I will be taking the YouTube internet kids with me on our date. Of course I have to you know since they have never ever seen you so I just want to make sure that they approve of you because you know they are my everything. So if they end up not liking you well. Well I guess that we are in a little bit of a situation then. You know because I love the fans. Now do not worry we are just heading to the slide over there. I mean it is kind of lame but you know this is like really vital for me as a human being. Because I love the slip and slides and I just want to see if you can also do it the way that I do it just to check up of course. Nothing special. I just want to make sure that I am starting my life with the right girl you know. Please do not take it all to personal it is just something that I really enjoy doing so that is the reason why I want you to learn it. Now of course I will be going first to show you how it is done and then you can try your best and I will see if you pass your first Sub-Zero X to bite girlfriend test. Again I am just doing this so that I'm sure that I'm in love with the right woman. Now just come down and show me what you got girlfriend. Now do not be afraid just do the trick and then we will be heading off on our first date ever. This is so amazing. Wait you can just swim back up whenever you want to you know. There is no pressure. It is not like I already made reservations at this Italian place or anything. Now you have definitely passed the slide dab test because you are the first person that I do not have to actually pull out of the water. It is just amazing already. Now we will be going on a date to the cinema and we will be watching a movie which you will be able to choose that is how awesome you are. But I am just saying that there is like a really cool space movie going on. So I am just dropping that here maybe you want to see that one or something. Not trying to bribe you of course. Now it is not that far out from Roblox town but you know it will be a while since you might be familiar with the Roblox traffic around this hour. I am just hoping that we can hurry a little bit since we you know have a dinner reservation at this really great Italian place. I mean the spaghetti o's there are like insane. They are literally out of this world because the spaghetti o's are UFO shaped so that is like really amazing but of course you will have to see it to actually believe it and in a few hours you will be able to enjoy that insanely good meal but first we should see the movie. So if you want some snacks or anything like that just tell me. Now I will be paying for the tickets of course because I am that much of a gentleman and of course you do not have to carry your own stuff I have got all of that covered. Now if you want anything to drink just tell me what you want and I will make sure that you get that. Just wait here for a second. Now what do you want snack wise? I mean the popcorn around here is like really good but just tell me what you want. Because I cannot go around and be making the decisions for you now can I? You know that means a lot to me. Otherwise I would not be giving you guys so much insights in my personal life. Ha ha wow that actually sounded even funnier out loud. I cannot believe how I am not on primetime TV yet with some lame stand up comedy show. I would probably be really good at that if I have to be honest with you. But I do not think that stand up comedy would be something for me. With all the standing up and all that stuff. I just do not think that my legs are able to take that amount of stress. So I will just chill and keep doing what I do right now. Which I am also pretty good at. So that is rather convenient is it not? But alright, back to the simulation. Since that is the reason why we are here. Now aren't we? I am still not sure about what I have to do around here. But the doc basically told me to stay put and make sure that I do not die. Because that might be fatal for me in real life and you know. That would just be a bad thing to happen. 
at least for me that would be. Now alright you want to go see another movie because we can do that I actually bought tickets for all of the movies that are playing right now because you did not actually end up telling me which movie you wanted to see but that does not matter let's just see what you like. Oh you want to go to the bathroom well that is alright I will just tell those guys that they need to pause the movie real quick. You know I am doing everything that I can for my princess right here. So just hurry a little bit because I actually need to go to the bathroom myself. You know that you are a pretty strange woman. I mean not in a bad way of course because I actually like the mystery around you. But I just did not know that we actually were dating before today. I just thought that I was having this really bad dream so who actually knows what I was doing out last night. Let's just hope that that never happens again because what happened in that dream was just horrible to say the least. Now I need to go to the bathroom myself so please excuse me for a bit. Now let's see do you actually want to go to another movie or do you want to go and do something else because I could think of something that you might enjoy doing. I mean we could also just go ice skating that should be like a lot of fun. It might be a little more crowded but that does not really matter right. Now let's fast forward to the ice skating date. Now let's see we have got a lot of people around here and it actually looks like they recognize me so I am just skating around with my new girlfriend and a lot of fans right now. I could not think of a better date myself. This is just like really awesome that I have the two loves of my life right here by my side. Of course in the number one place we have you guys the fans who are ice skating with me. I mean come on what were you thinking you guys would always end on number one. But of course we also have my lovely girlfriend right here who is on number two of my most loved things in the world. So I guess that she has got that going on which is nice. Now she is asking about my voice. Well uh, honey my voice I think that it might be because of my camera that I am using right. Since cameras are pretty bad at picking up sound waves. Since they are used to capture light waves. That is how a camera works. So yeah it might be because of my camera. I guess I should stop using a camera as a microphone. I always wondered why I could never find a good sock to fit over it like those big deal YouTubers. But serious answer, no Nolan. It is not because of my camera. Since I do not show my face, I do not have to use a camera. But I guess that I might want to check if my microphone is broken, because I have been getting a lot of questions about my voice lately. And I think it might be because of the microphone. And you know I do talk in my videos. It is just not what you are used from most people. Most people do not have the voice that I have, which is okay you know. Not everyone can be as awesome as me. But to answer your question, when I was a little kid I used to play little league soccer and I had a little accident when playing. You know how those matches can go. Little kids are violent little buggers. But one day in a match I actually got into an accident which was like super super bad. But it is since that day that my voice has been different than what people are used to. Oh wait you want to marry me already that is a little bit soon right because you know I cannot. I am married to the job you know. If I were to become your boyfriend I would only let you down because the job comes first with me. And that is how it has been for a while now. And I just cannot seem to also create a love life. And if I were to get into a relationship, it would probably be in Roblox. Meaning that I will still be able to work while hanging out with my girlfriend. So that does not mean that you are not good enough to Kara. I bet you are a wonderful person. But right now, at this point in my life, I just cannot seem to balance my work in a relationship. One will probably suffer from it, and I definitely cannot have that. Also I cannot cheat on my fish. You know the fish that I have hanging on the wall of my house. If he notices that I there is someone else in my life, he will not be happy. And fish are just plain tough guys. So I am really sorry, but I hope you can live with my answer. But how do I feel about my channel? Well that is a tough question you know. I cannot be bragging too much about it, but I am also like, look at my channel. Should I really be humble? You know what I do not care. I am not going to be humble. I think my channel is definitely one of the best channels out there considering Roblox content. And I get that there are some good people out there who are trying their bests. But I feel like my channel just has that something extra you know. It is not something that you necessarily see in my 
videos but I feel like it is something that you feel in your heart because I love doing this. Now you know I have got a lot of hater also, you know that is just something that comes with a job but I kind of like the hate comments actually I know that it sounds weird though. It is not that I specifically like hate comments. I would rather see the comments section filled with love but I think that we all know that this is pretty much impossible so I like to make the best of the circumstances. There will always be trolls, so I like to be a troll too and troll the trollers back like a real troll would do. Confusing enough for you? I hope so. But for real, I just love hate. I think it is way better than love and appreciation. Those are overrated. Who needs lovers when there are a million haters out there, waiting to give you the attention that you would never get from that small amount of lovers and fans. That is apparently just how this business works and I make the best of it. Now I just hope that everyone accepts you as my new girlfriend because I really like you as of right now. Now you may have heard that I also love something else. Well that is of course murder mystery. And yes I do love that but it will not come in between the two of us. Let me explain. I guess by saying please I just have to do these questions. Right. But I think that one is pretty obvious. I started this question with it. And it will be murder mystery. There is just something special about that game. I am not sure why to be honest. It might be the skins. You know you have all kinds of knife skins and pistol skins. I mean you even have pet skins. I do not know if you guys remember Chili, the little penguin with the scarf and beanie. How awesome is that? You can only get that experience in Murder Mystery. Plus it also gives me a way to easily interact with a bunch of my fans at once without it getting too overcrowded and stuff. And that way people can just play along with me. You know, if fans see that I'm in a murder mystery lobby, they immediately start joining. So it gives me a really good way to interact with you guys. It is like these Q&As. Not that this really is a Q&A when I am just doing it with my girlfriend on our date. But you know, things sometimes get weird. But it is just an easy and great way to keep you guys up to date on a lot of stuff. And some people get genuinely happy from playing that with me. And that is where I get my pride out of. Everyone can just join in, without any restrictions. And it is awesome that you can just shoot people and stab them in the back without bearing any of the consequences. But I am not saying that this has to be a good thing. But if it keeps people from actually stabbing and shooting people, then count me in sister. Because I am all about that peace life. Do you have a face? Now I guess I could start off with that secret service or some other agency baloney. But that is all from the past. But yes I do actually own a face. I got it at birth. And I still wear it every day. It is my pride and joy so that is one of the reasons why I do not just want to share it with everyone. I actually always walk around in a black ski mask. Even though I do not ski, it is just that I want to hide my face from most people so that I can share it even better with all of my loved ones who are at least one. And that is my dog. So I got that going on which is nice. You know it might be weird but she is looking past the fact that I do not show my face to everyone. This is just something that I like to keep really intimate and I hope that you can all agree with that as long as she agrees with this I know that I will be happy. Now as I was saying I hope that you really enjoy this little Italian place. Or actually is pretty big but we are getting bothered all of the freaking time by this kid who thinks that I am some sort of a fake Sub-Zero. Well I am not okay now. Now leave me alone on my date with my beautiful new girlfriend. But I wonder what she is doing down here when she said she just wanted to go to the bathroom. Wait a second is she actually cheating on me? That is it. I am done with this. Never again will I let someone in. I am just baffled with this. This is just wrong. She played me along like I meant the world to her and now she just skips me for some lame waiter who did not even get us our water. That is just horrible to say the least. Now I am just really sad and upset but mostly sad. But when I am sad oh I am sad but when I am happy oh god I am happy and there is just no place in between for us to meet. Now let me tell you this. Do not ever let this happen to you. Do not take your girlfriend to your favorite Italian place just to get your heart broken into a million teeny tiny pieces because it will hurt and you will be as sad as I am. I guess I will have to go do a lot of fun things tomorrow to make up for this because this might just be the worst day and the worst date that I have ever been on. So I hope that you guys can actually learn from my mistakes to not let this happen to you and I hope that you guys will find the love of your life and you can actually go out and stuff. But I guess that she just did not like the fact that you guys will always be my number one instead of her. It is just the sad truth I guess.